good day for living our best life out here. We're gonna live 220 k's of our best life and it'll be challenging. Hey guys, Chris Visitors here. Today, I wanna to tell you the story of my longest ever bicycle ride. And it starts the day before the ride. I'm nervous. No one wants to be the anchor, like the slowest rider that people are waiting for. It's 9.30 and I'm still organizing all my crap. All this stuff on the table, camera, kit, casual clothes, I've got to go in this bag. Shine, buddy. Caught ya. Licking your willy. Not going back in. Have a stretch. Shake it off. Weigh it out, buddy. Back to bed he goes. Back we go. I forgot my water bottles. There you are. Oh, fuck. So, I'm currently riding to Ben Paddy's place just past Southern. It's about a 20 minute ride. Load the bike, jump in the car, and off we go. because whilst there's a lot of climbing, the wind is the real, the thing that I have the fear of last time I did it with the city boys. If it's real windy and southerly, then it's not gonna be pleasant, but it's a westerly, so we should be right. Should, we should be right. We should be right. Yeah, you're nervous. 200 k's is a long way on the road bike. So we thought we'd do 220 on the gravel bike, just to be sure. Everyone here's done a 24 hour, except me. <laughs> I'm the only one that hasn't done a 24 hours. I hour. love a good realization <laughs> like that. A specific grab kit. <laughs> fresh boys. It's only been a couple of days. Whoa. Look at that. It's tactical. It's an uh, alternate road cycling apparel. It's nice. Just say something. It's a great day for living our best life out here. We're going to live 220 k's of our best life and it'll be challenging. I also like to live dangerously. <laughs> you don't sound as convincing as John <laughs> for some reason. In my middle name is Danger. Hey! Are you ready? Let's see if you still have that smile. Of course. Come six hours. <laughs> BFC. Epic gravel loop. Please and thank you. Catch you on the other side. So it's a bit windier than we expected. And it's a bit cooler. Still feels like it's under 10 degrees. And it's definitely, it's gusty. I didn't expect to get wet feet at 5Ks in or 10Ks in. Not bad. 
we chucked a rock in here. You couldn't even hear it hit the bottom. That's a lot of water. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Ooh. You know, on the left side, there's a bit that's actually higher than the road. <laughs> you might as well fill your camel back up. <laughs> I feel like you're at the deepest part. You gotta be. Socks and shoes are off, coming off. He's getting pulled over. My nuts are wet. One of my finest stitch ups. Beautiful. Success! Now that's gonna be it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so happy we were going home right then. <laughs> I know mean, you're like. I know, I know you're like. Oh, sweet! Can we just pull long enough. This is a lot louder, they can't hear you. <laughs> for about 30 minutes now. I think we're about three quarters of the way up. It's bloody beautiful. You can see the whole valley. Look at that. You can see the road on the other side. I've been dropped, but it's kind of like an intentional dropped because it's a 220 odd kilometer ride. I'm just sticking to tempo up here, not pushing it in the slightest. Because I just want to make the distance. <laughs> and I want to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? So the others can just wait. It doesn't even feel like I'm in Australia. When we're going up these climbs. It reminds me of somewhere else. It's all about setting little goals. 35 Ks and we're at lunch. Just talking to the camera. I haven't started hallucinating yet. Eighty-three Ks. Talk to me, somebody. It's going well. A little bit of water, couple major. Okay, you're not a good benchmark. You're not the average person. <laughs> Betty, I'm the average person. You're the average. Things are going well. Can't escape. Okay, turn off. Still smiling. Wind's not so bad now. A <laughs> bit of protection. <laughs> and Boxy's, uh, I think, is 100 meters off the back. Welcome back to the fault. in. It's definitely windy. It still feels cold. We worked up a sweat now, kind of shivering, so it feels nice. It feels like a bear hug. Give it me was anything. a lovely light to moderate. A little breezy at <laughs> in places. Nothing major. Definitely breezy. Oh yeah. Bring it. There we go. Thanks so awesome. much. Awesome, thank you.
Oh dear. I I want to film box when he comes down. Oh yes. Yep. You know it. You guessed it. <laughs> oh man. Oh dear. Not one, but two. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't know if this technique is better or the horse technique. What a load of horse shit. Where's those four drives? Oh <laughs> shit. He's just making it look like. Wet socks. Embrace. This one is rocky, so probably best to leave the shoes on. Ooh. Current's pretty strong. Oh, okay, now we're on the rock. I mean on the the tarmac. It's got some pull. This one's definitely stronger than the last one, even though the last one, the water was higher. John's River Stitch Up, volume two. She's flowing. <laughs> A Prado on the other side. I think he's contemplating crossing it, but would not recommend in that vehicle. No. Like a little patch, a little scout patch. Crap. 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 Mind games with me. I know there's only 60 Ks left, 68 or whatever it is, but it just feels so boxed that it feels like eternity. I mean, it is another two hours of riding at least, probably three at this rate. John and Boxy are up ahead. Benny's 50 meters behind me. I just checked my sugars and they're going low. So, because I got low blood sugar, that's why I'm feeling lousy. The gel, fix it right up. Holy shit. Uh oh. Oh man. We can make it. Here you go. I wonder if the 1.2 is actually 1.2 though. Mm. I feel like it is a problem. I, I, yeah, I think it's a proper 1.2. Concrete blocks, I remember that much. If anyone wants to walk out to that depth sign, I suppose you'd figure out, because that could be to the actual bottom of the riverbed, whereas the signs next to it may not be. Look how deep it is. I mean, yeah, you got to find out pretty quick if it's... That, that part over there is pretty good. I think that is accurate, that sign. <laughs> yeah, just see the road on the other side. Um, it's like we're turning around, looking for an alternate route. We are six hours in and we have to turn around because we can't cross that river. I don't know what we're gonna do. Do you just ride back the way you came? That's 12 hours. Hold it up higher, Box. Get close to those satellites. This links. Let's go. We can take this detour and then take a right yeah. in a couple, of, and then it will link up to the. So we messed up. We were following the map. We thought it was a road, but it was actually the river that we thought. Yeah. This is. Uh, this is not looking good right now. Is there a town or anything? Like, is there anywhere we can stop? No. No, no, no. We can stop, stop the town up here. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Never been so happy to see a bridge. The car that we pulled over mentioned there was a bridge crossing that would allow us to get to the highway, which made sense. The cars had to get to the highway somehow. Once we knew that, the uncertainty ended and we were back, baby. We didn't know how much longer it'd be or even if we'd make it home with the supplies that we had. But I tell you, once 
we crossed that bridge and jumped on the highway, it felt like straight victory. Nothing mattered anymore. We're at the highway. I think we're going left. And it's like, I don't know, but long way home, good couple of hours. Everyone's just communicating with their significant others. Let them know we're fashionably late today. <laughs> when we hit that river crossing, it was weird. It was like a f switch flicked where kilometers didn't matter anymore. Time didn't matter anymore. All your focus is, all your focus is just on how to get out of that situation. Anyway, here we are. Got 10Ks left. Feeling good. Oh, we are almost there. How much, how much longer? 13. Unlucky for some, CV. Not for us, <laughs> Not for us. We're so close, I can taste it. Da, 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 da. We rode approximately 50 k's on the highway back to the car. It really dragged on. After 200 k's, every undulation on the highway just pummels your body. But you know, the desire to get back to the car and be warm, have some food, it was just too strong. You just, you just get it done. Yeah. Oh, I've never been so happy to see a ranger. Good work, gentlemen. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now we play the fun game of who will cramp first. Oh, my bum sore. Oh, only 3.5 days of recovery time. 249.6. Stop the time off. Good show. Dallas, I, I did not think I was going to make it after we climbed that first climb this morning. <laughs> I was dead set calling Dana to come pick me up. I was dusted. Everything just stopped. Dylan might have even yeah. perished too. We wouldn't what? have got through the first river. I reckon yeah. it would have been the river crossing. <laughs> and we're like, no. Yeah, I bet no was laughing before we got to that third river when we could have turned around at fucking 65 k. Why is it lies? Give me a snorkel. Why is it lies? <laughs> Going through. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just this little snorkel sticking up. Imagine the next people you bring on the ride. So has everyone packed their snorkel? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mem Box is mentally already ridden up the hill. <laughs> He's thinking, oh yeah, we should probably go to a cafe, get a nice lunch, maybe a little salad, get a balsamic on there. I was comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> Very comfortable. He's yelling that he could not check the No way. Right. <laughs> he could not not do that. Just had to see. Like, I was prepared to link arms. <laughs> I'm going. It's on. I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm going to get jogging across. Yeah, he just like straight <laughs> in with his shoes. 